for Infinity War in this video. I haven't thought of every single thing I might say in it yet, but I'm gonna play it safe and assume that there are spoilers in this video, so, um, spoiler alert. Some of you may have noticed in the last video, but there might be something different about my skin that you see. Perhaps the coloration's a little different, perhaps it looks a little baggier. You may have noticed that somewhere along the line, I grew a neck, but you see, just like any other living beings, hoodies like me shed. The effects of shed shedding might just be a little more drastic than you might think. For example, like I said, growing necks. But anyways, today we're going to be talking about Infinity War. I don't know exactly in what capacity or exactly what we're going to be talking about, but we are going to be talking about Infinity War. First things first, I really like the movie. I thought it was super solid and it broke a lot of my expectations with what it did story-wise, but also just how well it juggled all the characters. It wasn't perfect in that regard, but it did a lot better than I expected it to. My expectations were that this movie would be fun, but was ultimately gonna suck. And I was wrong. It was fun, and it was also good. Me, Wild Spartans, and FPSDs are gonna have a more in-depth conversation on this movie over on our podcast, Loudmouse. If you're interested, that episode is going up tomorrow, so check it out if you want then. Link to that podcast in the description. But anyways, let's hop into the rest of this mess. There was a meme going around where people would post some pictures, like in a tweet or something, with the caption of something along the lines of Infinity War spoilers, but I don't give you context, something like that, and all the pictures would be references to things that happened in the movie, with no explanation of what they meant. Here are some examples. Uh, you have this thing captioned with I don't want to go. To anybody who has watched the movie, did you know that that scene was improvised? When I heard about that, my heart imploded on itself. It physically couldn't take it. There's a pile of ashes. I'm not exactly sure from what. It could be from an ashtray. Or it could be some stuff that people who were running out of a house fire coughed out of their lungs. Either way, it is about as depressing pressing at the last image. You'll get it if you watch the movie. Lol, I need a therapist. There's a picture of Squidward in this collage. This is the first one out of these that doesn't make the hole in my chest expand to encompass my entire being so far. There's a donut in space. That's not really a spoiler. That was in the trailers. It's a spaceship that's also a loop-de-loop. Whoop -loop. dee scoop whoop dee whoop dee 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 scoop whoop dee scoop dee dee whoop whoop dee scoop dee poop scoop dee scoop dee scoop dee scoop There's some bubbles, which is depressing. There's a rabbit, which is funny. There's Zenyatta gazing into the iris, which is just giving me flash Flashbacks to Overwatch Season 1. There's Footloose, which is a funny meme. There's a Dementor, that reference makes me nut. Peter Dinklage is here too, which is just fucking fantastic, TBH. There's Simba getting thrown into the air. I'm not exactly sure which part of the movie that's referencing, and I am ashamed. There's a dude about to snap his fingers, which is pretty much the source of all my suffering over the course of the last week. God fucking damn it, no excessive amounts of food can make this pit in my stomach go away. Now this meme has near infinite possibilities, and in theory, near infinite potential entertainment value. Now that's not gonna happen, let's be fair, but there are two ways to experience this meme. The first is the way I experienced it this time around, which is seeing all the memes after you've already seen the movie. So you get to laugh and you get to feel special because you understand all the jokes and you feel like you're part of some in-group or some dumb shit. And the second way is the way I might try to experience it next time around. Or maybe not. Really haven't decided yet. But it's seeing all the memes before you see the movie, and then when you're watching the movie, you get the references as they happen, or realizing how all the scenes click into place after the fact when you're walking out of the theater, it's a magical experience. Or at least I presume it is. Seeing as that isn't the thing I did this time around. There were also some fake spoilers involved with this movie. Uh, spoiler alert, Joe Swanson walks in Infinity War. Spoiler alert, Batman fucking dies in Infinity War. At least according to the Twitter account for my new podcast, Loudmouse, with FPS Diesel and Wild Spartans. Go check it out, links in the description. We released a new episode a couple days ago featuring Nerd City, and our Infinity War discussion, as I said, goes up tomorrow. There's Shaggy literally killing someone in the movie. That's not even a fake spoiler. That's just canon. I was just as surprised as you probably were when he came on screen and lodged the bullet right between the eyes of one of the children of Thanos. Was not expecting that to be the way they saved Vision the first time around. Let me tell you. Some people went out of their way to start a misinformation campaign or fake news, if you will, completely centered around fake spoilers for Avengers Infinity War. One of these such hooligans was Stephen Colbert, who thought he could get away with it without it catching my eye. Me. Quite's eye specifically. Don't ask why, but I can guarantee with no level of confidence that he was scared of specifically my eye finding out. They did this in an effort to contaminate the reservoir, put so many spoilers out there that are actually believable that people who are reading them don't know which ones are real and which ones are fake, so they could go into the theaters wondering which ones were real and still be surprised when they happen, even if they've unknowingly had the movie spoiled for them. Let's watch and bring it to justice, okay boys? Iron Man dies trying to get a bagel out of the toaster with a fork. <laughs> the Hulk is put out of commission when Bruce Banner discovers Paxil. His new catchphrase, I didn't like me when I was angry. <laughs> Dr. Strange faces off against his nemesis, normal dentist. Captain America gets super depressed 
when he sees how many Nazis there are in 2018. Ah, those were some good ones, Steven, but I can do you one better, not including the ones that I already said before this particular gag. Doctor Strange uses a time stone to go back in time and save Phil Coulson for being murdered in the first Avengers. That way Phil can play a role in the modern movies and not just in Captain Marvel and on that one TV show that no one gives a fuck about. But then whoop, Thanos kills him with a big ass space rock. True facts, 2x kills on Coulson. Oh yeah, this one is a real spoiler, but JFK still dies in the movie. Sorry guys. Oh yeah, Iron Man dies. Now way back when in the dark ages of 2017, the actor Mark Ruffalo, who plays Johnny Bravo in Infinity War, accidentally spoiled the entire movie in an interview and we thought he was joking. So yeah, uh, this is definitely a spoiler for the movie if you haven't seen it already, so um, be warned. It doesn't end well for the superheroes. That's true, in Marvel it, it doesn't end that well. Somebody always bites, or gets really badly hurt. Wait till you see this next one, everybody dies. Do, 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 do. do. Not everybody. No. Is that? No. Alien, whatever. Can we rewind that part? Yeah, yeah. can we re you'll cut that part. That's not Don Shadle looks like he's about to fucking cut a bitch. Or get in trouble for not keeping Mark Ruffalo in check like he was supposed to. I feel like they have Benedict Cumberbatch on deck to deal with Tom Holland when he's about to spoil things. What do you um, do? that's a good question. Again. I'll answer it. Um, he <laughs> is really, really, really fun to work with. Really. And how much do you help him, Peter Parker? If I'm honest with you, I actually know nothing about this movie. I, I'm not allowed <laughs> to read the scripts because I'm so bad at keeping secrets for this exact reason. I would want to tell you all the secrets, and I just don't know them. Um, I know I play Spider-Man who's a kid from Queens. But they haven't figured out who's best at keeping Mark Ruffalo from spoiling shit. But I also had everybody who actually died in the movie spoiled for me ahead of time without realizing that it was a real spoiler. I completely forgot about it by the time I went into the theater and didn't remember about it until it was too late. Now what's a video talking about Infinity War if we don't mention the disintegration memes? They're everywhere. There's one where Shaggy dies, there's one where Shrek dies. The Shaggy one is actually a screenshot from the movie though, true facts. But yeah, that's enough. That's all the disintegration meme is gonna get in this video. Except for this one that I made right here, loud mouse. I don't feel so good. Now let's get to the part of the video that I really wanted to talk about. Jax Films. I've had to make countless videos chronicling his crimes across the barren wasteland of YouTube. The numerous robberies and thefts that he commits in an acts on poor civilians like PewDiePie, but he's gone to new heights. He's made an Infinity War video. And ironically, it's an episode of Yai, that series he stole from PewDiePie. Yeah, that one. Yesterday, I asked you to give me Infinity War in just four words. And before we continue, uh, here be spoilers, all right? So if you are planning on seeing Infinity War and you have not yet, Maybe don't watch this video. Well, uh, it's a nice thought, Jack, as much as I despise you for existing. I've ruined any chance of somebody who's watched this far in the video for not being spoiled for the movie if they haven't seen it already. I warned them, though, so it's their own fault at this point. They can suck my ass. Alright, without further ado, Infinity War, four words go. The Avengers Infinity War. I hate that that counts. You mean you hate people giving you exactly what you asked for? That's extremely rude, Jack. You ask for something that you have no right to ask for in the first place because you stole that video idea from someone else and then you get mad at them when they give you exactly what you want. You ungrateful little shit. No shark boy or lava girl, so. Purple geologist wants rocks. This picture summarizes it. It really does. I need a therapist. <laughs> Why? Why? Didn't care, didn't see. That slimy, arrogant, snobby ass, punk bitch, Voldemort nosed bastard. He's taking obvious shots at me right here. What else could the sunglasses be in reference to? I mean, he's indoors. Who wears sunglasses indoors? I'm not wearing these sunglasses indoors, by the way. They are my eyes and they are up here, dickhead. But Jax Films has seen my videos and he's trying to tease me, that fucking scumbag. Chris Pratt ruins everything. Thanks a lot, Quill. Everybody hates Chris too. That's right everyone, welcome to the Chris Pratt is over party, you are all invited. Star Lord is the reason that everything went to shit, emotional wreck that one is. I understand his pain, but he's still a fucking idiot. Though I think that was kind of the point. Strange should have given him something to do, like he should have conjured up a fucking fidget spitter to distract him. That shit would have blown his mind. Alright, you guys get the idea here, Jax Films is just trying to bait me. Let's skip to the end and try and get some sorry excuse for a closure out of this piece of trash video. And finally, most deaths aren't permanent. Lest we forget, it's a comic book movie. Before I continue, I want to let you guys know that the Yai book is still over half off now. Click the link in the description below to get yours. I see a lot of you guys on Twitter posing with it in photos, and that's it's really swell, but I, I don't... 
I don't approve of this one. This is very dis irrespectful. It's not a coaster. Ooh, that son of a bitch! He's selling PewDiePie's work as his own in a book! Someday, Jack's Films. Someday you will get justice served to you. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like, and if you're new, subscribe. Like I mentioned at least 7 billion times throughout this video, I have a new podcast with Wild Spartans and FPS Diesel called Loud Mouse. There's a link to that podcast in the description. We upload new episodes every Tuesday and Saturday, and we're available on iTunes, SoundCloud, and YouTube as of now. Like I also said at least 7 billion times during this video, we're releasing an episode where we talk about some Infinity War spoilers tomorrow. And a couple days ago, we featured Nerd City as a guest. If you guys want to check that out, it would be greatly appreciated. I also have a Twitter at Quite and an Instagram at Quite.png if you want to check those out. And I also have a Discord server and if you're interested in checking that out, there's a link to that in the description below. Anyways, this has been Quite and I'll see you guys next time.